what's with it what's good youtube welcome back to another episode of dtv you already know about today's title what today's video gonna be so without further ado please go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and comment down below what more videos you'd like me to do for you guys um so in today's video like i said we're doing a unpopular opinions so i wrote down these like a couple days ago and i just feel like doing it today so today i'm doing 10. i was gonna do 15 but i'm just gonna do 10. um i also have a few things to say um i thank you guys for really subscribing to me and watching my videos and liking my videos but please do not if you're a new youtuber please do not comment under my underneath my um videos about telling people to comment i mean to subscribe to you because i feel like you need to put in the work for your subscribers just like i'm doing so put in the work and you're gonna get subscribers thanks um i got on a crop top yeah um so yeah i'm just gonna get right into the video so i'm gonna do 15 unpopular opinions so the first one is cheating is not a part oh i'm doing it in this book too take a look it lights up but yeah, it's cute right so cheating is not a part of the ups and downs of a relationship staying with someone after they've cheated is not holding them down and being a ride or die this is facts okay y'all niggas don't understand or y'all niggas and females don't understand what actually is the up and ups and downs of a relationship is the ups and downs of a relationship is basically like if your partner ain't got no money right now or you know what i'm saying they don't have a car right now or like the struggles you know what i'm saying but cheating is not a part of that i mean like somebody whatever cheating is not a part of that cheating is not a mistake it's not cheating is not um an accident you don't accidentally by mistake cheat like no that's like a it's like it's like you wanted to do that you know what i'm saying like you you can't no bro i hate when people be like oh you should have stayed with him or you should have stayed with her and you should have um you should have stayed with him and you should have changed him or you should have changed her or and all this other stuff like like i hate when people say that because it's only so much that a person can take you feel me and i'm not finna sit up here and stay with nobody who ain't who treat me like dog crap like no this is no no number two is don't get into a relationship if you can't communicate facts because it's, it's, when you things that you do when you're single, you can't do that while you're in a relationship. So, I mean, I feel like it should be 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your partner trying to put in the extra work, I mean, you should have put you should put in the extra work too. And that goes as far as I'm sorry, it's bad. Let's go into um communication. I mean, like if you having an issue with something or whatever, you shouldn't be afraid to communicate with that with your partner. I mean, it should be a thing where y'all feel comfortable talking to each other you know what i'm saying it shouldn't be no relationship without communication because communication is key in our relationships like it don't matter what relationship it is communication is key and if y'all see me looking right here it's because the phone is here but the camera is here so it's kind of weird i'm trying to see myself so please be mindful of that um number three is don't date if you're not over your ex facts facts because if you still trying to get over that nigga or if you still trying to get over that female don't don't come talk to me okay period but also here's the downfall today it's not really a downfall but it's like a loophole you can sort of speak so to say some people need help getting over their exes some people do actually need help getting over their exes it like i ain't got no shirt on but i really do so some people need help getting over their exes. I'm going to tell you this right now from experience. Okay. So, it takes that certain someone to help you, you know, get away from all the negativity and the intoxication and all the other stuff. It takes it takes another person. But sometimes it takes yourself as well. Like, if you really want to get over this person, I mean, it takes, like, your inner thought. Like, it takes you as well as the other person trying to drag you away from them to be like okay look i want to leave this person alone i mean you know what i'm saying it takes 
takes a team. Okay, you can't do this on your own. If you if you're like me, you can't do certain things on your own. So I mean, like you need help, and it takes that certain person to help you. But you got to want to leave that person alone as well, cause a part you can't help nobody who don't want to be helped. You feel me? Um, number four is you are not required to put your relationship on social media. The lesson, oh, the less people know, the better. A private life is a happier life. Facts. Just facts. Um, a lot of people be like, um, well, why you didn't post me or you don't never post me or I ain't gonna care. I used to be like that too, but I had to realize like, you don't really have to, you know what I'm saying? Get posted for them to prove your love if that makes sense. Um, I mean, you don't really have to because I personally, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? People don't really care. Some people they care, but some people they don't. You feel me? So you don't have to put your business on so smooth. Um, number five is I don't have to show you off at all. I don't have to show you off all the time to prove I love you. No, you don't. Facts. Cause I get posted, but not like posted. But I know, I know that my girlfriend loves me. So it's not really a. My collarbones are so strong. Like I, fuck, I freaking hate this. But yeah, I know that she loves me, so I don't really care as much. You know. Um, and she know I love her, so I mean, it's just a thing where you don't have to post me to show me you love me. Mm. Number seven is cheating is a mistake. It's a choice, but people make bad choices, which in retrospect are mistakes. Yes. Like I just said, cheating is not a mistake. You, you, you meant to do that. If you, look. This will loyalty come in. I mean, I know it's better females than me. Oh, let me school y'all. Let me put my, my glasses on real quick. Okay, listen, bitch. You, I'm just kidding. They fucking up my lashes. Um, cheating is a not a mistake. So don't don't put that in a box with a mistake. I know I'm not the baddest female in the world. I know that. I know it's females prettier than me. But if you going out and you know you got a down female right here, why would you want to go talk to somebody else? You feel me? Like it's just like bro, like if you know I'm doing everything for you, if you know if you know that we got a bond together, why would you try to fuck that up with another hoe? You feel me? Like it's just like just stupid. I don't understand what's the point of, what's the point in cheating. You know what I mean? If you're going to cheat, then you might, well, you should have did that shit while you were single. I don't know why you're trying to talk to me. You still got that hoe. Like, you still a hoe. No. Don't, don't do that. Yo, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so fucking frustrating that people think, oh, it was a mistake. No, bitch, you meant to do that. No, no. You fucking meant to cheat on me. It ain't no, this a mistake, nigga. This is a mistake, obviously, if you want to fucking go around and cheat. Like, no, don't fucking cheat on me, dog. If I'm sitting up here doing everything for you, if I'm sitting up here challenging you mentally, being loyal, being faithful, you know what I'm saying, committing, trying with this relationship, and you sitting over here going, you sitting over here going, doing things with a hoe that you can do with me. You feel me? Like, I mean, if you want to go bring that hoe, why cheat? We can do it together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no sense, bro. I just... People nowadays, I don't know what the, I don't know what's going on with y'all, bro. Like, y'all think cheating is a mistake? No, nigga, it's not. Sorry, fuck. I'm just mean. I just got so mad right there because cheating is doesn't make sense, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not bad. Like, I'm bad as fuck, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? The prettiest bitch in the world. But I got things that hoes can't offer. I got, I can put things to the table. I bring things to the table. You know what I'm saying? I'm not these hoes where they just gonna waste that motherfucking time, you know? Like, no. And I hate hoes that fuck up a happy home. Like, get your miserable ass back. You feel me? Like, bro, I just, I don't know. I just, I guess that's just me because I fucking hate that shit. Like, cheating, what's the point? Why go do something with a hoe that you can do with me or we can do it together? You feel me? Like, y'all hoes' mindset is just off. Um, seven, eight. Eight years, stop telling your partner if I don't fuck with her or him, then you can't. It's not healthy. It's not. Because, okay, it depends on the level of, I guess for me, it depends on the level of, um, like, how bad y'all don't mess with each other. Like, okay, so my girlfriend, say she don't mess with a bitch, right? But I was cool with them. I was cool with her before they start beefing. 
I'm not finna sit up here and just not mess with that person. I'm not not like talk to them as I do as normally as I used to because my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? My girlfriend and my friend, they beefing, you know what I mean? Like, and then it comes to a point where if they get the arguing, I'm gonna try to break that shit up because no, my girlfriend not finna argue with my friend. Like, that's not, that's not how it is. But if it come down to fighting, I'm on my girlfriend's side. It's just facts. I don't know what to tell you. If we just lose friends, then we just lose friends. I mean, shit, I'm getting up for it. But, I mean, like, it's not healthy, but it also depends on the level of, um, like, the level of, I don't know, the level, like, how bad they're beefing. It depends on that. Like, if they like beefing to the point where they can't even speak around each other, I'm not finna be the middleman, so I'm gonna either go with my girlfriend or my friend because I'm gonna go with my girlfriend, fuck that shit, because my friend, whatever. Friends switch on you nowadays any fucking way for the smallest of shit. So, I mean, I'm getting up. Um, yeah, so, and, I, and I, vice versa. If I'm not fucking with somebody, don't fucking talk to them. Like, if I see y'all talking, it depends, like I said, it depends on how bad we beef me. Like, if I'm beefing to the point where every time I see her, I want to jack, what the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all ain't got nothing to talk about. Period. But if it's beef to the point where I can say, hey, or what's up to her, then I mean, you know what I'm saying, y'all can speak. But it better not be nothing else after that. You feel me? Like, I just, I don't know. If I'm beefing with somebody and I want to fight them every time I see them, why y'all talking? What's what's so important that, can, that you can't talk to me about? You feel me? Cause shit, cause at this point, these hoes nowadays, they ain't doing nothing but trying to get use you against me. Like, no, don't fucking talk to her or him. Period. Um, number nine is if you delete messages or intentionally don't save them because you don't want them saying it's cheating. It is. No, okay. Well, Okay, it's safe. If you delete messages or intentionally don't save them because you don't want them to because you don't want them, meaning me or my girlfriend, don't want them to see it's cheating. Period point blank. Because if you do if you if you texting somebody and when I come around, you delete the messages, I'm gonna be looking at you like why you delete the messages? What was I talking about? Why you had to delete them? You feel me? Cause like if you weren't talking about nothing that bad, why you deleting the messages? Period. So, I mean, because I don't delete messages because I don't be texting nobody. So, if I feel like if I feel like I'm talking about something that shouldn't be talked about, then I'm not going to talk about it. Because if you can't, if you're talking about something that you can't talk about with me, then bitch, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be texting me. Period. I don't know why you deleting the messages, fuck. But it's cool. Because when I catch you, I'm going to catch you. And when I catch you, I'm going to go off. Um, number 10, last but not least, is sex doesn't fix everything. This is facts, bro. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. I don't know why I use sex as an excuse. Because it's fucking not. So stop fucking using sex as an excuse. Sex is good, sex is great or whatever, but at the same time, dude, no, what the fuck? If we sit up here arguing, nigga, I'm not finna give you no sex. No, what the fuck? Bro, let me tell you something. It's good and it's great. But if we having a conflict, don't expect me to open my legs for you because, oh my God, we finna have some makeup sex. No, nigga, get the fuck away from me. I'm finna beat your mother in the ass for what the shit you just did. You feel me? Like, so don't, don't expect that shit from me because I'm gonna tell you, I'm like, no, I'm gonna make your ass wait until I feel like the conversation is over and it's done with and we finally, like, come to a conclusion because, no. Like, I did it to a point where I had to, I made somebody wait two fucking months because you got me fucked up because you really think you're finna, oh, my God, baby, I'm so sorry, da, 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 talk me into having getting you sex. No, nigga, get the fuck away from me. And I made his ass wait for two whole months. Because I can go without sex. Y'all niggas and bitches acting like y'all just, y'all just fucking, when y'all see y'all send the, uh, y'all just ready to jump on it, but I ain't even gonna count. Sometimes my hormones be a little all over the place, but I can still handle myself accordingly. You feel me? Like it's not it's not that bad to the point. I'm playing with this if that's what y'all hear. Um, it's not that bad to the point where when I see you, I'm just ready to jump on you. You feel me? Like I can control it. If that makes sense. Like if I'm away from you, or either like if I'm away from you on the phone, I can control it. When I'm like at your house, I can control it. But that first move you make is on it. Period. But 
so those are my unpopular opinions i just did 10 i think so like i said if you um have any more video ideas please do not be afraid to comment down below i didn't even show y'all the fit but it's cool i got on a crop top and so with the shorts with lashes and my hair in the bun period um comment down a lot more videos you like me do for you I don't know all y'all heard, but yeah. So this is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching that episode of DTV. Bye. Baby, tell me where you're